In this video, we're going to look at how we can use our graphics display calculator, in this case the Casio FX9860G2, to find the area between two curves. So our graphics display calculator can perform integrations as long as we give it limits. And with that, we can find areas. So we're going to look at this graph over here and the two functions y equals cos x plus 2 and y equals log of x plus 1 plus 1. And the first thing we need to do to be able to find this area is to find the points where the curves intersect so we know where to integrate between. And to do this, we need to use our graphics display calculator to graph it to find those points of intersection. So first of all, we go to number 5 to graph. We open that up. And we delete anything extra in here. And then we draw the two graphs. So the first one we're going to draw is cos x plus 2. So cos of x plus 2. And the second one we're going to draw is log of x plus 1 plus 1. Our cos graph here we notice is in radians, so we also need to make sure that we've set it up in radians. I'm sorry, yeah, press enter, shift setup to check we're in radians. Let's go down and find angle. Angle there, yes, we are in radians, but just make sure. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got the graphs there, we can draw them and we can see we can't see very much so let's fix the view window to the same as what's in the graph in the question. So this is from x from minus 6 to 6 and the y is from minus 4 to 4. Now if we draw it, we can see what we're looking for. And we can see the area here is what we're looking for. So we need to find the intersection. So we G solve and find the intersections. And we find the first one. So let's just write that down over here on the other side, on this part over here. We'll write that down. The first one is 2.103. 7, 8, 3, 6, 4, 4. That's the x coordinate for the first one. By x equals, x equals. And the second one, we find that is x equals 4.445239608. So there are two x coordinates all the points of intersection we've got. Let's join them up. That one is that one there, and that one is that one there. You can see which ones they are. So now we've got the x coordinates. We can find the area, and we need to go back to our menu, and we have to go to the main calculating page. And the integration is actually under this option here, math, F4. And we have to scroll along the arrow F6, and we can see the integration option here. And we can input that. Now we have to input our function that we want to integrate. Now what we have to remember here is that our function is the upper one minus the lower one. So this time it's going to be this function minus this function. And we can type it all in one go. I'm going to put it in brackets. So we've got log of x plus 1, close brackets, oh, missed the plus, plus 1, close bracket, plus 1, and then close the bracket for the first one. That's the red function. And from that, we're going to subtract the blue function, because that's below the red function, which is cos of x plus 2, plus 2, yeah, plus button work that time, close that bracket. And that's our function. The function is the red one, log of x plus 1 plus 1, minus cos of x plus 2. 
Now we scroll down to the bottom limit, and our bottom limit is this first one here. That's 2.104. Let's do to three decimal places. And our top limit is this one here, which is 4.445 to three decimal places. And then we hit enter, and we can see from that that the area is 0.948. So we get that the area is equal to 0.949, the three significant figures, uh, squared units, the three significant figures. So that's how we use our graphics display calculator to calculate the area between two curves where we can't do it algebraically.